Are you ready to win some free pedals? Well, have I got bad news for you. You won't win. So don't try. The odds are stacked against you. Too many other people are gonna enter. And there's just no chance. You've never won anything before in your life. And if you did, it was a fluke. You have bad luck. So don't try, don't muck things up for everyone else by clicking the link in the description, entering your email address so I can contact you if you do win. You won't. So why even bother? And then, you know, don't jump through the hoops. Don't be in the Hoop Jumpers Club. Don't click the various affiliate links and other little fun little links that I throw in there to make you jump through hoops to kind of quasi earn your prize that you'll never get. This isn't fun. No one likes doing this. No one enjoys these videos. So just stop watching. Stop entering to win because it's getting you nowhere. It's a waste of time, right? Let's be honest with ourselves. So anyways, I'm, I'm gonna pick nine more pedals to give away to three new winners, which won't be you. You're not, you're not gonna be one of them. You think you have a chance? There's no way. All right, what fuzz am I gonna pick? Let's go with the Frenzy. This is one that is really, really good. It got really close to kicking the Kuvave off the affordable board. <laughs> Look how small it is. It's so little. I remember that sounding just massive. So I'm looking forward to checking that out again. Modulations, Behringer Ultra Vibrato. I remember that one being pretty good too. A newer one, the Moval Magnesium Flange. It's already got some battle damage on it. A little chip in the paint, probably because it lives in a tote <laughs> with a bunch of other pedals. Distortions, I've got a lot of distortions. <laughs> How about the iSet Heavy Metal? People pointed out that this has some band's logo on it. <laughs> iSet just grabbed some band's logo off of Google and threw it on a pedal because why not? Hmm. What should we do? What should we do? How about the Dolomo Distortion? That's a fun looking one. I don't remember what it sounds like. So we'll re-explore that together. Time-based effects, delays and reverbs. This one's getting a little empty. We're gonna run out of these before the overdrives and distortions. Here we go. The Flamma Reverb. People have been asking me to cover this again because they claim there's drip in here and I just glossed over it and I missed it or something like that. I don't believe there's real drip in there. Maybe there's a sound effect that sounds similar to drip, but maybe I'll be proven wrong. If there's a good drip in there, I might not give it away. I might keep it. <laughs> a classic, the Donner Yellow Fall. Tons of people over the years have had yellow falls on their boards. It is one of those affordable board pedals that almost everyone has taken a chance on. For some reason, the yellow fall grabs everyone's imaginations and we just buy them. Probably because it's got a radioactive symbol on there. Like, it, it must be amazing, right? If it's an analog delay that's radioactive, come on. All right, overdrives. <laughs> the Azor chicken overdrive, why not? I'm not chicken. I'll give it a shot. We'll do something Tube screamer -y, the K-Line Overdrive. It's got a selector switch in between fat, normal, and super. Uh, what is that a clone of? The super Tube Screamer? Turbo, the Turbo Tube Screamer. That's what it is. In affordable tradition, I'm gonna use an affordable guitar. This time, this Fesley. I covered this a while back and ever since I've been using it around the house, jamming with it, having fun and stuff. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed. I'm so impressed actually that I've already hit up Fesley and asked them to send me another guitar to check out. I don't usually do that with affordable guitar brands. I usually just wait to see 
if they'll send me something in the future. But this time I was like, I gotta, I gotta know more. I gotta see what else these guys can do. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, I'm also gonna run through the two Princeton's rig. I let it run extra long this time just because I know no one's watching at this point because everyone realized there's no point. You're not going to win. So why even waste your time? Why watch any of these videos? So I'm, I'm there's sassy cat is still watching. I'm sure, but everyone else is gone. So sassy, was that enough to print this jingle? Let us know. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Here is my clean tone. Is that clean enough for you? Let's mess it up with the Rowan Frenzy Fuzz. That is a ridiculous fuzz. Too heavy. Like you can hear it sagging and giving that like flubbing speaker sort of sound when the fuzz is turned all the way up. That's, it's too much. It's too much fuzz for you. You can't handle it. brighter. I got the tone all the way up and it's pretty dark. I wish it had more of like a cutting thing going on. We've got the chicken overdrive. You know what? It's my video. I'll do whatever I want. I'm going to jump all the way to the end to the reverb. I want to hear this thing. I am running this stereo into the two Princetons. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. I'm going to 
leave the cuts all the way off. It's a big pre-delay there. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see if we can find that elusive drip. It has all the information on the side over here, and I'm not going to wrap my head around to figure it out, but that sounds like a plate reverb to me. Or maybe that's the plate? Flamma pedals were a really good series. I, I'm sure they still make them. I think they have smaller versions of them now that aren't stereo. They have little mono versions of them. I remember them being kind of on the edge of being a four board pedal. So they were in like the 70s or low 80s or something like that when I covered these a couple years ago. I mean, when you consider that you get presets and a bunch of different settings and the algorithms all sound really solid and, and high enough fidelity to be totally passable on any pedal board, and you got stereo through and stuff. Yeah, they seem like no-brainers. That's not supposed to be it, is it? It can't be. That's probably it. Okay, I hear what people are talking about. It took turning the pre-delay all the way up to... There is no pre-delay on a real drip. The drip is right on top of your playing dynamics. So this is using some kind of very interesting stack delay, like a digital stacked slapback delay to achieve this drip sound effect, but it's, it's not holding up with the pre-delay all the way down. It's like a steel drum echo sort of effect. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, if you want to build your sound around that, I'm not going to tell you no. They tried. They did try to deliver that drip sort of sound, but it's like the feel is, is way off. And what's actually happening is not a true drip, but the, the, the tonality of it, that little like sweet little edge thing happening. Like they tried, they really did. I mean, it sounds like a good reverb. I mean, it's still a decent sounding reverb algorithm. It's just not a true springy, surfy, drippy sort of situation. A 
This is like a modulated reverb. Now that we've got a reverb, let's move on to the overdrives. The chicken overdrive by Azor. Sounds good to me. That sounds like a totally fine and great overdrive to me. What do you guys think about that? Let's move on to the K-Line overdrive. This is gonna be a tube screamery, tube screamery sort of thing. You can tell by the color of it and the knobs and the switch that goes from fat, normal, and super. It's turbo time, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a turbo tube screamer clone. <laughs> It's mid-pushed, it's fizzy, it's got three different settings. It's a turbo tube screamer. You want a turbo tube screamer on a budget? I think that actually does a really good job of it. There's a lot of pedals I've tried over the years across the affordable board that look like they're gonna be tube screamers, but then they don't quite sound like a real tube screamer. This is doing it. Do you wanna try a green overdrive pedal on a budget? I can sign off on that one. The Dolomo Distortion. This thing sounds aggressive. that's for sure it seems a little bit like always quiet even when it's able to get loud there's something about the eq filtering on it that makes it feel a little bit pulled back to me but the game character of it the response of it that is that's pure distortion all right magnesium 
flange. We've got a three knob flange here. <laughs> Up. Most people are not going to use that sound. But with everything pulled back, then you get into that policey kind of like faux chorusy sort of thing. I wish I had a police riff to pull out of my pocket, but I don't, I'm sorry. On to the ice set, heavy metal. So we are in the boost off position. There is a high boost and a low boost setting. noisy there's a lot of noise coming through so you definitely want to throw this thing in the loop of a noise gate to catch all that
myself. If you're not someone who usually messes around with high gain sounds, you can get something like this. Just a fun little pocket metal pedal. You can throw this in your back pocket, roller blade down to hang out with your friends. Go get a Slurpee first and a Charleston shoe, head over to your friend's house, play some N64, and then play some guitar through this. Just chugga chugga with your friends on a summer afternoon. Doesn't that sound delightful? Doesn't that, doesn't that sound like a great time? <laughs> Onto the Behringer Ultra Vibrato. So we've got a couple different settings here. Unlatch, which I think it means momentary. Bypass. Which means it's always bypassed. And then latching. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what's going on there. Why is it always in bypass? That makes no sense to me. <laughs> Why is there an always bypass setting? <laughs> that sounds like the beginning to like some instructional VHS tape from the 90s or the 80s or something like that. It sounds nice to me. to the yellow fall, a classic. We'll probably turn off that flange.
it just keeps going. It's got that real crispy repeat too. A lot of repeats. It's got a lot of repeats, but that that degradation that happens. It gets crispy. It, it gets lo-fi. It's a digital delay pretending to be an analog delay in some sort of way. What do you guys think? You want a yellow fall? Better buy one because you're not going to win one. So that's all of them, because I already did the reverb, right? Let's go back to that spring setting. I like the sound of it <laughs> when I'm racking the pre-delay knob. Can I get one where it just modulates that? What do you think, Sassy Cat? 
It's you and me. We're the only ones left. Everyone stopped watching a long time ago. If no one enters this week, I get a big old zero. No one enters to win. No one enters the contest. I'll just stop doing this. But the chances are so low that you, you already, you, we already know you're not going to win. Sassy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? If Sassy is the only one to enter, he might win three times. I might have to give him all of these pedals, all three groupings of three pedals. But that's just, that's what's, what's going to hap have to happen because no one else is going to enter, right? Because the chances are so low. Uh, it's sad is what it is. So anyways, thanks for watching, Sassy. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked. If you want to try, if you want to try to win some of these free pedals, I guess you could. You could click the link and you could jump through the, the hoops. You could be a hoop jumper in the Hoop Jumpers Club. But it's not worth it, so don't. All right, bye everybody. Stay grounded.